out here at Prairie Pines, and this is at 112th and Adams, so East Lincoln. And the area we're in right now is part of a partnership between Community Crops and Prairie Pines for our Yazini Farmer uh, Training and Education Outreach Program. Community Crops is a nonprofit organization focused on sustainable um, community gardens, um, training gardeners, having kind of a sustainable gardening community within Lincoln so people can grow their own food, um, things that are specific um, to specific cultural groups, um, as well as just having a supplemental fresh garden at hand. My name is Shah Bashar. Um, uh, I work with the Yazidi Cultural Center and Community Crabs. Uh, I came to United States in 2017, February 17. The partnership to found a Yazidi uh, farmers. So community crab market for uh, farmers, they have the, a lot of experience in farming. They know, uh, they ask it and they know uh, they had a lot of experience. First year we started, 2019, we started uh, our produce. We are uh, kind of not teaching, kind of introducing people to, the, to our, uh, our cultural foods. We are doing a lot of conversation with people who are Yazidi, what they grew, where, where they grew foods, well, what is this, I mean, where, uh, I mean, eggplant, parsley, cutting celery, crisps, what you are doing with it, how you cook it, what's your best recipe, I mean, people want to learn more. Yep. Lincoln's home to over 3,000 Yazidi members from Iraq. Uh, they're an ethnic and religious minority. And it's the largest population of Yazidis in the United States. And so this became a really great cultural exchange where Shahab was our cultural liaison, bridging the gap between many of our farmers who have nominal or no English um, with students who have no Kurdish Kurmanji. So now, uh, the students have a deeper understanding of kind of cross-cultural communication, uh, local gardening practices and food ways, and also kind of understanding what it takes in part of the refugee process, as well as like the entrepreneurial spirit of these people. Being a refugee is not easy. So there's a lot of stress, Miss, to your home, back to your country, our, uh, you know, our family become a part. When I came to these lands, I mean, Pirifans, I felt I belong to these lands. So something is happening between ourselves and this, this land. With all my energy, I am working and encourage people to eat healthy, enjoy farming, and uh, we are growing for Nebraska and paying to Nebraska. So we are supporting Nebraska food, which is local food.